Hello everyone. I've just stopped here at uh, Bryce's flat. Uh, probably about 200 meters shy of where I just saw the echidna. Now I wasn't actually planning on making a video today, but uh, which is why I don't have my actual camera on me. I've only got my phone. So I'm sorry if the picture is very poor. But I've just spotted the echidna up there and he was just in some bushes, maybe a meter off the track. And I heard some rustling over to my right and all of a sudden there he was, this little yellow and black echidna that just sort of scurried off between some rocks and uh, almost poked his head up for, there, for a little bit there to look at me but uh, I didn't actually uh, get any footage of him looking at me unfortunately, just uh, of him poking his head down into the brush but uh, I'll tell you what, it was really a sight to behold. Uh, it's, uh, I won't say my first encounter with an echidna but it really, uh, it's it's re it's really struck something with me. It's really, uh, yeah, it's it was an experience. I'll say that uh, it's one thing to encounter koalas and kangaroos uh, around the city, but uh, it's another thing to be out here in the bush and to encounter things like uh, like such unique native fauna, like uh, like an echidna or a uh, a wallaby or something like that. That's you, you don't sort of see so much of. In the middle of the city, and it was it was it was cute. <laughs> it, it's to me gives me a new perspective of uh, how unique Australia really is, um, as far as our bushland goes, and as far as uh, this area here in the uh, in the Hepburn State Forest of how unique not just the gum trees or the water that we've got over there to my left, or to the 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 walking tracks that we have around here but just to the uh, unique animals and wildlife and even a lot of the trees and things like that that we have around here like the wattles and you know the bottle brush and things like that and if I've gotten any of that wrong please feel free to correct me but to me it gives me a perspective of why my grandparents chose to come here uh, 62 years ago I believe for my mother's parents and I think it was 50, 57 years ago, 58 years ago, uh, for my paternal grandmother, and 78 years ago for my paternal grandfather, that uh, decided to come to Australia. And it's those kinds of encounters there with that echidna that uh, helps me to remember why, why they chose to come here. Um, and again, I'm sorry if this. Uh, if the picture quality is terrible here, but uh, this is an in impromptu video and not one that I actually intended on making, so I don't actually have any of my equipment here with me. All right, so thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.